Greetings everybody, I am Lobo and welcome to Luna. This is episode 170 of my Minecraft survival series and today we are going to be making our way across the approach to the Luna Welcome Center over here at the Far Approach which houses our Villager Breeder of course. Now it only houses about half of our Villager Breeder as it stands because the other half is right here now this is where our villagers come from this is where they go to as kind of an intermediate area as they're awaiting transportation to wherever it is in luna they want to go because from here they can basically go anywhere in the city right so today we're going to house the second half of our villager breeder and i was thinking well i want to reflect the whole transportation aspect of this whole thing so why not a ferry terminal Please excuse the sudden downpour. I take a break to eat a piece of bread and all of a sudden it's just pouring down rain. Anyway, for today's build for the ferry terminal, I want to make something that really stands out because as I look over here at the approach, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with a lot of the builds here. We experimented around, we tried some fun stuff, but nothing really stands out. Unlike stuff in other parts of Luna, for instance, when we fly over the farm district over here, the windmill, of course, the windmill is iconic to the farming district. If we fly over here to the quarantine district of Wolfen's Laboratory, you will eventually see, hopefully, that this juggernaut renders in. This, of course, really stands out over here at the quarantine district. And I need to make something that stands out at the approach. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how this ultimately ends up looking, but we're gonna see. So basically, this is our block palette, except for the oak right here, ignore that. We're going to use light blue terracotta. We're going to use strip birch logs and lime terracotta. And there is a reason why I picked those particular blocks. And it has to do with the Explorer's Lodge. Well, minus the birch. The birch I picked just because it was a lighter shade of wood. I want this to stand out, right? But the light blue and lime terracotta have to do with the Explorer's Lodge over here. And let's get into the lore a little bit. So the Explorer's Lodge is going to own and operate the Luna Ferry Terminal. And the reason for the light blue and lime is visible on the inside when you see our floor in here where, where we have this kind of compass rose design. It's kind of hidden beneath a lot of furniture right now, but this design is representative of the Explorer's Lodge. And as you can see, we use the light blue and lime. So we're gonna carry that over. Now, not only are we gonna be adding a bit of color to this build, but it's also gonna be a fairly large build. Uh, as you can see, I stacked up some slime block pillars. So those kind of represent what I think are going to be the corners of this build. And basically what I need this build to be is big enough to fit in a couple ferry boats, you know? So pretty large. Now that also means we need to think about our future terraforming as well because those ferry boats would not fit between this little gap right here and they would not be able to go this way. They, that means the ferry boats have to go around this way in order to get into Luna, right? So we're going to need to make sure we eventually clear out all these trees, all these mountains, all these woods and all this stuff on this side in order to give those boats a way around Luna and finally into the New Moon Bay, which means we're eventually going to collect a lot more dirt, a lot more grass, a lot more stone, and a lot more spruce, amongst other things. We're not doing that today. <laughs> Definitely not doing that today. Now, nah, today we're just going to focus on the exterior of the ferry terminal itself. Now, if you look at where the walls are going to be, that cuts right through this area right here where I have my little temporary storage thing, which means uh, I got some, some cleaning to do before we can actually get started building. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and throw all this junk into another temporary storage area, and I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. And I know it would seem to make more sense I put these away in the actual like automatic sorting system, the storage system we got. But, you know, ultimately, I do plan to use a lot of these blocks once we get around to terraforming this area outside the walls of Luna. So I'm just going to keep it handy for the time being as my excuse for not putting stuff away where it should be, I guess. <laughs> But now that we got our workspace cleared out, ready to be built upon, we are going to need some blocks to build with. Uh, so we're going to need some birch, hence all that birch over there that I planted. Uh, we're going to need a fair amount of terracotta as well, not just for the exterior that we're working on today, but also for the interior as well. So I really want to break in the new Mesa. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and call Decoy Dog over there, put on a little bit of music, and get digging.
And welcome back, everybody. So we finally broken in our new mesa over here. Took a good layer off the top, and I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully that's enough to do what we need to do, and then some. I also built this little temporary mining operations center over here to keep me safe. Uh, this is not where we came to in this mesa before. Our old portal is actually over there. Uh, but, you know, this is just easier to access from our nether tunnel, so I made one over here. But in total, we've uh, collected about six shulker boxes worth of regular terracotta, and then some as you can see I have some in my inventory as well so hopefully that's going to tide us over for a little bit at least uh, you may have noticed uh, decoy dog had some issues during that time lapse which is a real shame you know the guy sent to spy on us is having some issues be terrible if uh, that were to become a recurring theme in this episode wouldn't it oh wait we gotta pretend he's watchdog he's waiting Oh man, yeah, Watchdog, I was just telling the guys how, how you had a rough time out there, but you're gonna be okay, you, you look fine. You know, no worse for the wear, right? You look great. Anyway, I'm gonna meet you back at Luna, okay? See you later, bye! And not only that, not only that, but you know, I replanted my birch thinking, oh, well, we're definitely gonna need to get some more of this stuff, right? Uh, but I decided to put some flowers down too to see if we could get some bees and check it out. We got bees, guys! We got bees. This is awesome. So yeah, their little bee nest right here. We'll make some use out of it. I gotta figure out what exactly we can use the bees for. I know the honey blocks and the and the honeycomb and all that stuff, but I gotta figure out, you know, other stuff. We got actually several bee nests over here, which is pretty awesome. Oh man. Welcome to 1.15, Lobo. But now that we're at the work site, I hope you don't think we were actually ready to get started building because guess what? We're not. Uh, because remember, we're building a ferry terminal here, which means it has to be on the water. And if you notice, the majority of this build where the boats are going to go is actually inside a fairly sizable hill. And that is obviously just not going to work for us. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and kind of get in the outline of where our building is going to be, kind of roughly get in the walls where they need to be. And then everything inside those walls, for the most part, is going to get taken down to just below where the surface of the water is going to be. Uh, because I need, I need some space for the boats to go, right? And I already have an idea of what I want this place to look like. I've been doing some sketching. I've been planning this for a little bit. So I have I have a pretty good idea of how I want this build to ultimately look. It's just, I guess, a matter of putting in the work at this point to see if we can we can translate what I have on the page to what you guys will hopefully see at the end of this episode. Eek. Oh man, the resources just keep uh, keep piling up, don't they? <laughs> they just keep stacking up here. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to, to put away. Eventually, but that's fine, hello. Hi, right in my face, hello. The bees, the bees keep adding up too. But yeah, we got uh, we got some area cleared out now for today's build. And you know, you might be thinking, well, couldn't you just have put this build further out into the water? There's plenty of room. Yes, there is, but you know what? I really like digging. I don't want to do it anymore today. I'm done with digging, but I like doing it overall. Uh, as you can see here, we got some dig axes that are in need of mending. Uh, Watchdog, you might be a little in need of mending yourself. Uh, but, you know, I, it's just a shame what's happening with Watchdog this episode, isn't it? Just a shame. But now that we have what looks like a foundation in, I need to go ahead and figure out how we're going to lay everything out. This being the entrance right here, so I know this is going to be the entrance because I want that to be directly across from the exit to the welcome center so that way new villagers can theoretically just walk right on over and get transported anywhere in Luna that they want to go, right? So give me a few minutes, I'm going to put some markers down and I'll come back and kind of explain to you how all this is going to work. Why, why are you low, Gravel? Why are you feeling so down? So I'm thinking I want to make use of archways in this building. So this is the entrance right here where that slime block is. I'm gonna have a big arch over top of the entrance and then we're gonna have several arches along the side here. So as you can see, there's like a little gap in between. Then we'll have an arch, gap, arch, gap, arch, so on and so forth. So both sides are going to be symmetrical. So are the front and back as far as the arches go. Of course, they're gonna be like the back's gonna be shorter since there's a hill back there. But in the front, I'm thinking we have like kind of a big arch right here and then another big arch right here. Uh, so two in the front, basically big enough for two ferry boats to come in and dock and allow passengers to board. I just need to figure out the spacing, really. So I'll be back with you in just a second. 
Actually, before I get around to that, I had a thought. So I was looking at this, you know, the sides may end up looking a little bit flat. So I was thinking to alleviate that, maybe we could bring out the corners of this build a little bit, have them protrude going up. I think that might look a little bit better, bring a little bit more depth into this build and make it look a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to see if we can work these in somehow. All right, so I got both sides measured in. Uh, so the entrances for the ferries will be symmetrical. Now I'm just trying to figure out like where exactly we're gonna, you know, place our arches and build up the structure. That way the the supports look thick enough to actually hold up the roof of this building and you know maintain its structural integrity, right? While allowing us enough room to actually build a couple ferries in there. I think something like that should be good. And now that we know what the general shape of this place is going to look like, I want to go ahead and just bring up the foundation a teensy bit so that way it's visible from around the building because, you know, the back is kind of sunken in by this hillside, so don't want any of that. So let me go ahead and get that in, and by the time we're done with that, we should have a pretty good idea of what at least the bottom part of this build will look like. And there we go. We now have a little bit of a structure to show off just the foundation. This is probably half the height of the total build, but it's at least a start, right? It's a good start as far as the exterior goes. Now, before we proceed any further, I will need to go ahead and collect some more birch wood because we're running a bit low on that. Uh, if I can, seeing as how many bees are over there, that could be a bit uh, dangerous. <laughs> I may have made a mistake doing this, guys. I thought maybe we'd get one or two bee nests if we were lucky. I thought these things were supposed to be rare, but uh, apparently I could have I could have just done this at any time in a more, you know, suitable place. Uh, now I just have to be really careful not to break any of the nests or anger any of the bees, because uh, I'm not trying to focus on these guys for this episode. So I'll just be very... Very deliberate with my hits here. I think uh, for any more birch we need to collect in this episode, we're going to have to pick a, a different location because I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this area. We have a little birch section in our inadequate tree farm over there. We may have to resort to that or just pick a different place because this is not comfortable. Not at all. <laughs> Admit it. You guys, you guys are waiting for me to get stung, weren't you? You're thinking, oh, Lobo's going to accidentally hit one of the bees or chop down one of the bee nests and he's going to get stung and it's going to be hilarious. Either that or he'll do it on purpose for comic relief or something. Nah, don't mess with the bees. We're relocating. <laughs> So before we get around to getting our terracotta finally installed in this build, I want to go ahead and finish up these archways right here. Or not finish them up, but at least get a good idea of what they're going to look like, the general shape of them. Uh, so let me go ahead and back up here and just see if this is a good good shape for it. At least the top of it. That's, that's what I'm concerned about. I think that could potentially work. Let me get the other one in just to kind of get a better feel for it. All right, and uh, this should do it. Uh, so I think this is this is probably what we're going to go for as far as the shape of the arches on the front and back. Now, the ones on the sides are going to be a little bit smaller. And keep in mind, right now we're just doing like the general stuff, trying to trying to figure out the shapes and all that. Eventually, we'll go in and kind of ease the transitions of these arches using birch stairs and stuff like that. So that way it doesn't look so blocky. Uh, but before we do all that, we need to figure out how each of these sections is actually going to look and just make sure the shape is right. Otherwise, it's a lot of undoing and redoing and, and it's just a huge mess. So it's always better to, you know, kind of get your shape in first and then start working in the details after that. But I think that that's probably good. That's probably good for the sides here. So let me go ahead and at this point get in the template for the rest of our arches and I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. You know what I'm just now realizing? This is a big project. This is a big project that we've already put some time into as far as resource gathering, all that stuff. Like we put a pretty good amount of time into this so far and we still have a long way to go. It's probably a project that I should have done over the course of a couple episodes rather than trying to squeeze it all into this one. I'm going to attempt to make this work. I'm going to attempt to get the exterior of this place built in this episode, but if I don't, uh, we'll get it done eventually. <laughs> nah, you know what? We're going to finish the exterior of this place in this episode. We are committing to that. Set it in the video. Now it has to be done, right? committing to it unless I cut that clip out and then we got time hmm no 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 I said it we're gonna do it we're building the exterior of this build in in today's episode 
the Luna Ferry Station will be. It will look like it's a it's a it's a thing. Hopefully by the end of this episode. So I guess that means I need to stop dilly dallying and actually get to work. So this outside layer over here above the stone, that's going to be the blue terracotta, right? But I also want to work some green terracotta, especially into these arches. I think we might recess it back behind the blue, which would mean we'll probably end up having to double up the wood on this side. So that's going to be even more birch that we're using, but I think that'll be good because I don't want the blue and the green to be on the same layer. I want the green to be kind of recessed back a little bit. I think something like that could potentially look pretty cool. So in addition to that, we're also going to add another birch frame around this as well. I think this needs to go up one more. Uh, and that's going to allow us a little bit more depth and also make it look thicker, more sturdy, much more beefy, you know? And that should give us a pretty good idea of what these archways are ultimately going to look like. Uh, this, I'm not going to strip down this whole thing before I show you. Let me just get that and then we'll go ahead and back up and see what we think of it. So we're kind of reducing the size that the boats are going to have to travel through. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. No, I don't, th I don't think that's going to be a problem. We should be able to, to make something like that work. That seems like a pretty good size for a little ferry boat, you know? So now it's time to go ahead and start building up a little bit. And we're just working on this one little corner right now. That's all I'm really focused on. Uh, we need to go ahead and get our light blue terracotta in at where that's supposed to be. And basically, you know, we're not trying to make it look pretty yet. That's going to all happen at the detailing phase. Right now, I'm just trying to get... You know the basic structure of this thing in kind of rough out how this thing is ultimately going to look and then we'll kind of you know pretty it up make changes as we go along so we're going to go a few blocks over the arches with the blue terracotta and then after that uh, we're going to go across with the birch just kind of frame out the blue terracotta with the birch kind of get those uh get those lines in you know so you can see like the definite edges of the building all that stuff so let me go ahead and strip this down that we can have a peek and see how this is going to look. I know it's getting dark. Hopefully we're actually able to see something. All right, let's go ahead and take a peek at this and we can't see a thing. <laughs> of course, that's all right. You know what? I just had a peek at it for myself and I think what I'm going to do is get a little bit more of this built out before I show you guys what it looks like because it's kind of boring to be honest with you. Now this top horizontal birch is not actually going to be the top and it would probably make sense to fall at this point. We're going to go up a little bit higher with uh, the actual roof of this thing. And there's going to be, you know, different, there's going to be a couple little extras on the roof here. I'm trying to decide if I want to bring these pillars like all the way up here, or just keep the fences going all the way around. Uh, I don't know. We'll try both options and just see what looks best. Give me a moment here. All right. And then I'm falling again. And then, uh, <laughs> as I said, I want to see if I want to keep the fences going the whole way around uninterrupted or if I want the pillars continuing up to the top. I'm thinking that just maybe having the fences continue the whole way around uninterrupted would probably be best. I am having some difficulties here. All right, there we go. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out these. Now, as far as the sides go, these archways here were meant to showcase the lime terracotta, you know, the lime green terracotta, but I don't have a whole lot of room to fit it in up there. It's not really going to look that great. So I'm thinking maybe we can cut out some of the foundation here, some of the stone foundation and go ahead and replace that with the lime. I think it might be worth a shot potentially. Now, if we do go this route, obviously that means undoing some of the work that we did earlier in the episode. Uh, if you guys have been around for a while, that's expected, right? If you're new to this, that's kind of how things go around here. Alternatively, if we decide not to go this route, then we will be undoing this and redoing the work that we did earlier, which is also pretty much how things go around here. But it's always nice to have options, right? It's always nice to have options. So let's go ahead and see what we think of this option. Actually, you know what? I I think I'm a fan of that. I think I'm a fan of that. It breaks up the stone, right? It breaks up the stone and we could do details in here to break this up as well. I think that could potentially work. Now, you remember those protrusions we did on the corners? What I want to do is kind of bring those to the inside of the build as well. And what those are going to do are form like little mini towers kind of peeking up out of each of the corners of this build. And I think that is probably a good size for each of these like little tiny towers we're going to have peeking up out of the corners because that leaves us plenty of room here in the middle to do maybe, I don't know, possibly a domed roof or maybe an arched roof going down the center all the way back. I haven't really decided on that 100% yet. 
And now the idea with these is that these little mini towers are going to be like kind of observation areas. Uh, I want them nice and open, lots of windows, lots of light, uh, just so you can see out and enjoy the view because there's not really going to be too many windows in the terminal itself. Uh, but if you want to get a view of the, the ferries and stuff, this is where you would come to get that view. Now, hopefully this doesn't end up looking too awkward because this is actually not really part of the original plan. But I mean, just seeing this, I feel like this build needs a little bit something extra. It won't stand out as much if it doesn't have like these, these, you know, little extra details and whatnot. Now, I said that these were not part of the original plan, and I also said earlier that I really wanted to get this build done for you guys in this episode. Let me explain real quick why I am adding more work for myself in the video that I'm trying to get done when I am i don't have a whole lot of time left to finish recording it. Uh, I really just enjoy the process of trying to make a build look the best that I personally can make it look. Uh, and you know, it's just a fun process for me. If I, even if I come into a build with a plan, it's not a fully fleshed out plan. You know, I typically do come into stuff underprepared because I like the process of trying to, I guess, figure stuff out. Right. Coincidentally, that also gives me an excuse if any of these builds end up looking terrible <laughs> once they're actually completed. Now, as far as the roofs of these uh, short little stubby towers that we're making, and also probably the roof of the terminal itself, I was thinking dark oak might offer us a pretty good contrast. So we'll just cap this off and then we can see how it looks. And I do apologize for the rain. I know this isn't great for video. It's not great for viewing what we've done so far, but you know, we have to work with what we got, right? And I think I can live with that. I think I can live with that. All right. So now we do have a plan for their short little stubby towers. We have a plan for the actual structure itself. We know what the front and the sides are going to look like. All that's really left to figure out is the roof here. And I think I'm going to wait till I get the actual structure in to determine which roof design I'm actually going to roll with. But if I want to get this build done in this episode, I really need to buckle down and get into it. Uh, so I think at this point, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and call decoy dog on over, put on a little bit of music and get to work. And I'm going to try to get everything done in this time lapse. So it is going to be a big one.
welcome back everybody oh man that was a lot of work but i feel like it was worth it we accomplished our mission right to build a build in the approach that stands out and i would say that definitely stands out oh my goodness would you look at these bees over here this is craziness oh my hi guys anyway uh this is the focus of today's episode I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I don't know if it's just because of the amount of time I've invested in or the fact that I've gotten very little sleep because there's a lot of stuff going on around here. Very hectic IRL at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I mean, I will still give you guys a quick fly around to show you everything, but you guys pretty much saw it all in the time lapse. Uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, take a quick peek at some of the other stuff. So we got the walkway kind of, you know, planned out that's going to lead into the Luna Ferry Terminal. Uh, from the villager breeder, right? I was not expecting to go through a shulk or a half of glass in this, by the way. I wasn't planning for it to be, you know, like that, but it needed, I needed to get more natural light in here. So I needed to feel more open. I think that kind of accomplishes that goal. Uh, overall, though, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, but, but we are not done today, guys, because remember, the whole purpose of this build is to move these villagers to wherever they want to go in Luna, right? And I want to take some time before we end this episode to kind of figure out how we're going to do that. Now, I've given this a fair bit of thought, and you know, it occurs to me that we built this big old ferry terminal, which we eventually plan to house a ferry boat or two inside. It would make sense logically then, if we're going to move our villagers from here, that we move them via minecart. So I have a minecart down here next to my trusty assistant watchdog, who I would never suspect of anything, who is beyond reproach. Uh, and he's had a bad day today, but I need to ask one more thing of you, watchdog, would you get into the minecart, please? We're going to demonstrate for the folks at home how we're going to move villagers around Luna, right? So uh, before this guy actually gets over here, I'm going to send you all on your way so that way you're not in any danger, right? We're going to go ahead and put our villagers in the minecart, and this minecart is going to be able to take our villagers anywhere they want to go in Luna, up to and including, wait for it, wait for it, the holding cells at LOL headquarters. Take that, decoy dog. Yeah, I know you're a robot. I know, you, you're not hiding the fact that well. Oh man, that feels good. That's one problem solved. We got the Wolfins Laboratory spy off our back. Next thing we need to do is make our way into LOL HQ itself and release Wolfred from the other holding cell where I kind of maybe a little bit falsely imprisoned him under the impression he was a spy. Seems like LOL HQ is holding up well. It seems like everything. Yeah, good job holding down the fort here, Wolfred. Proud of you. Our plan worked perfectly that you might not have been, you know, let in on, but the plan worked great. You're free to go now. Everything's good, right? So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just been craziness but all's well that ends well right we caught the actual wolfen's laboratory spy as you can see and that's great and you're no worse for the wear i mean you're slightly more unkempt than usual a little bit more smelly but you know all is good right so we can get back to the business of running law loonies against wolfen's laboratory saving luna from wolfen's labs and everything's good right okay you do have a point there Massive progress in this episode, guys. I'm pretty happy with the amount of progress we made. We built the Luna Ferry Terminal. We freed Wolfred, and hopefully after he gets some food in him, possibly a shower, he should be good as new. You know, he, everything should be forgiven. We still need to figure out what happened to Watchdog. That is still a mystery at this point, but hopefully now a decoy dog in our custody will be able to figure out some information. Uh, and I'm sorry for deceiving you guys about the whole villager thing, you know, but uh, it had to be done. We'll work on that. We'll kind of come back to this area next episode, I think, but that's going to be it for us today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo and I will see you guys later.